Hey guys, welcome to Flat Top King. Hey, today is all about egg roll in a bowl. Pile it up with your favorite sauces, your favorite seasoning, your favorite meat, your favorite vegetables. Stir fry them all together. It comes together in a flash. You guys stay tuned. All right, so this is the rundown of the ingredients. Um, we're kind of like on this Asian flair where we did our lettuce Asian wraps not too long ago with ground chicken. So we had a lot of the ingredients left over. We still got our mirin, we got some sesame oil, low sodium salt or low sodium um, soy sauce, garlic, ginger. Today we got uh, sausage. This is just breakfast sausage and ground beef. Um, we'll throw some red cabbage in there, some green onions. The cheat method is just buy some coleslaw mix and I'm gonna shred up some carrots. Other than that, let's go. I'm gonna get all these cut up and we'll get back to it. All right, starting off, we're just gonna add our sausage, our ground beef, we're gonna cook it all the way through. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and add my carrot. It's gonna take the longest for those to cook. These are obviously optional. I just quartered, uh, what do you call them, baby carrots? Is that what they're called? Yep. You can also use matchstick. But Matchsticks. We didn't, we didn't have any. Whatever you got. All right, I just added those carrots. Been sauteing them back and forth. I moved my ground beef over. I'm allowing that grease to come out of it. While I saute my vegetables, I'm just taking that grease, almost like you're draining your grease inside the house, and just taking the grease and going right to the grease trap with it. I don't want it too greasy. This is the key, especially cabbage. Cabbage has a lot of moisture in it. You want to keep this stuff dry, right? You don't want like a soggy mess and it can happen in a hurry. So I'm going to spread out the cabbage. All right, while I'm getting this stirred up, I'm just gonna show you right here. We just added the purple cabbage for color. We're actually gonna use it in a recipe coming up and I really wanted a purple cabbage for it. So what better the way just to combine the ingredients you've already got, right? You don't have to add it. Like I said, it's just optional. We're gonna build this egg roll in the bowl. And what we do, if you guys are interested, we have a website, theflattopking.com. It's where we're gonna have the exact measurements. I'm gonna give you my best guess of what we're making, but we might alternate through the course of making it, because we're ultimately going to make what I like. You guys might like something a little bit different. So why are you spreading how, it out so far, so much? I was going to say, you see how dry we are? That's what we're wanting, because if you combine everything together so fast, the cabbage is going to steam, and it creates a ton of moisture. And then it just, it's just not as good. I don't think so. That's why we added the carrots when we did, because it takes longer for the carrots to cook. Just like that. Now here's where we build the good. flavor. Oh, that smells so good. This, I can't believe we haven't made this before. All right, I just made a little well. I'm gonna warm up that sesame oil. About how much? About a tablespoon. I'm gonna do about a, two tablespoons of garlic. And one tablespoon of ginger. I really like that ginger right there. It stays fresh for a long time. It's great on chicken. It just helps up the, the flavors. Can you smell them already? Mm. It's like a swimming pool of flavor right there. All right. Just enough soy sauce. Imagine doing like a fried rice, right? You're just going to add the soy sauce around. Probably total, maybe close to like a half a cup. A quick pass of this mirin. Red pepper, sriracha. 
Oh, it smells so good. Now tell them, honey, I have been asking you to make this forever. She has. I ignore. I ignore inappropriate behavior. It's low carb for the most part. I mean, the mirror has, I'm sure, some carbs in there, but overall, I mean, Here, let me show the people that are just if you guys are newbies and follow me I always try to teach you something listen to the listen to the sound right you guys worry about flat top grill temperatures a lot if I sh shot you a temperature I'll shoot it from here here and here and give you three different temperatures watch this the flat tops completely off hear the difference because that side of the flat top hasn't uh, had the amount of food on it so it stays hot right see that so just because somebody tells you that their flat top's on 350, well, maybe where your food's at, it might not be that temperature. So you use that to your advantage once you learn what you're doing. All right, we're pretty good right there. I like where we're at. Now, if you wrap this in a wonton wrapper mm. and fry it, that's it. Just like that, egg roll in a bowl. Hey guys, there you go. Simple and easy, right? If you guys haven't, check us out on The Griddle Group on Facebook. It's where we get inspiration from you guys, where you guys show what you guys are making on your flat tops. We really love the banter back and forth, and thank you to each and every one of you. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to press that subscribe button, pound the notification button, share it with your friends, make what you like, put in it what you like, add this, add that, tweak it. You're the one that's eating it. Peace.